because a time of victory can also be a very dangerous time when you're dealing with a petulant, childlike, sore loser who's vicious and has absolutely no morals. People are going to fight back. Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to speak with you about an event that is going to be historical. It is so momentous that very likely we may see cataclysmic consequences as a result of this. Already the National Guard has been deployed in Washington, D.C. The Army is already preparing for what might come. What am I talking about? The overturning of Roe versus Wade. And currently we are awaiting the verdict from Supreme Court that may come anytime this week, possibly. And my goodness, already there are protests because of the leaks, because of the expectation that this may indeed happen. This great victory for the kingdom of God because abortion rights will be greatly restricted in many states apparently over 26 states it may be banned you may only be able to get an abortion if there's a crime if someone has been raped if the mother's life would be at stake if there's incest situations like that thank God, that we are going to see this momentous victory. As a believer in Christ, we cannot support abortion. It speaks of death. It's very nicely cloaked as a medical procedure, but it is not. It is really the modern day equivalent of a child sacrifice. You know, back in the day, in the days of Nimrod, there were very blatant child sacrifices and the priests of Baal, the Kana Baal, I actually made a video about it. You can watch it. I'll put the link below. They would be performing these rituals and it was direct and it was open. But in the modern day, we see that evil disguises itself. There are no outright open child sacrifices they come disguised as clinical procedures, but they are one and the same. They are the taking of life. They are satanic rituals. These fetuses are used. They're utilized in ways that the public doesn't fully know of. Only a small population is aware that there's much, something much deeper that's going on. So you will see that with the overturning of Roe versus Wade, it is the event upon which everything hinges. I've also mentioned this in a previous video, that it's the blood of Jesus that set us free. The partaking of his flesh and the consuming of his blood that is a spiritual transaction that is integral to our deliverance. And the enemy mimics what the Lord does, but he perverts it and he provides a counterfeit. And in this case, the counterfeit is via abortions, partaking of human blood and human flesh, because unlike the Lord who gives life and gives of himself, gives of his blood and his flesh, the enemy takes human flesh, takes human blood, takes life and only unleashes death. So now that we're going to see this very pivotal event taking place, where abortion rights will be greatly restricted, we're going to see the death of innocence will be going down dramatically in number. Wow, this is a huge victory. How many lives will be saved as a result? It's going to be a staggering conclusion for the kingdom of God, but it's going to be a brutal defeat for the kingdom of darkness. And the Lord has been showing me that once Roe versus Wade is overturned, it literally will be like a dagger in the heart 
of the enemy, a stake in the heart of the enemy, because this is the root of it all. This is what they thrive on. This is the life that they live on. They consume it. It's their food source. The enemy is not just going to sit quietly and allow it to happen. The enemy is going to fight back. And we've seen how food supplies have been affected. All of a sudden, all these food plants and even fertilizer plants are being burned, destroyed. Planes are flying into them. Over the past several weeks, we're seeing that baby food was being uh, affected as well, supplies of baby food. And there's been a general warning of, potential inflation, food shortages. All this has been contrived on purpose by the enemy. So the prophet Mark Taylor, he actually made the link between the enemy's food source resulting in them attacking humankind's food source. Typical of the enemy to try and hit back where it has been hit. But we are overcomers in Christ. We are prepared for every occasion and we rely on the Lord. Now this event, when abortion rights return to the state and Roe v. Wade is overturned, it will hit the enemy so hard because the enemy is going to be famished. It's going to be wanting food. It's going to be angry and hungry and ready to take revenge. So bear this in mind because a time of victory can also be a very dangerous time when you're dealing with a petulant, childlike, sore loser who's vicious and has absolutely no morals. People are going to fight back. We're going to see the consequences. So be prepared and keep this in the forefront of your prayers because this is a crucial event. The enemy is so wicked that even Justice Brett Kavanaugh's life was threatened as well. Do you know that even pregnancy centers that are being vandalized and attacked by people who are protesting against the overturning of Roe versus Wade, what sense does it make that they would attack pregnancy centers? A place that represents life where babies and mothers are being taken care of and nurtured and these pregnancy centers are being vandalized. That is completely demonic. It just shows how senseless these people are. And as the body of Christ, it's our role to intercede in the spirit. Our prayers carry great weight during a time of chaos, a time of potential turmoil that is already brewing. It's our prayers that will have that impact. So let us pray right now. Father in heaven, I lift up the situation to you, Lord. I praise your name. I thank you, Lord, that you are already showing us the victory that is to come. And Lord, I pray that you protect all those in the front lines, protect your children, sanctify them, expose the enemy and all its strategies. Lord, we pray that this verdict of the overturning of Roe versus Wade will be successfully deployed. Lord, we pray that your kingdom come, your will be done, the lives of innocents protected across America and across the world as well, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, and join me praying and interceding in the Spirit for peace and order during this time. Amen.